Okay, so this is the unboxing of the Canadair, the Hobby King Canadair, the Malaysian, Malaysian, Malaysian version of the Hobby King Canadair or CL1 for something something. Uh, so I ordered this from um, Hobby King, the European store, because I live in Sweden, so that's the cheapest way to do it, and I don't have to pay any extra taxes. So just look, uh, just want to look over the package first. There's some, some, but it's been bouncing it around, and this is this is a hole straight through. Oh no, it's it's straight through through the airplane. Okay. Oh. But if I'm lucky, there is nothing there. Let's see. <laughs> so, oh, here's the engines I ordered for the thing. Uh, they are... Uh, 11.1 volts I think um, uh, hmm, 1550 kV or something and this is was the only one who who what that I thought would fit that I could order from the EU store and then the model doesn't come with servers so I ordered some 9 gram servers and this is some of the stuff uh, for my quadcopter. Another servo, a little bit of cable because I don't want uh, I don't want uh, ESCs. I don't want the ESCs outside on the wing or in the motor gondolas. And Shipping manifesto. Who cares? Um, let's see if there had been any damage to the airplane. It's hmm. Yeah, the metal rod there. It's hinged. Actually, it's hinged. Oh, I like that. It has plastic hinges. It's not in the foam. Hmm. That's nice. That on the floor. I just want to check that everything is a manual. Whoa. Manual. That's nice. You don't always get that one. Let's see, it look. Yeah, you can see that it has been built in a factory because you have some dirt in dirt in the factory. Well, from the factory, you have some unbarks and stuff, but. Well, that's okay. This is a ch very cheap model from the EU store. I think I bought paid fifty-three dollars, so that's nice. There's a little bit close up all the details. It's sprayed on, so there's not that much details, but enough for um, enough details for looking at it in the air and. Um, the reason I bought this this plane was because my father had had one the Canadair uh, that he built himself in Balsa Wood, a larger model than this, and it uh, was intended to fly with the gas engine, two strokes, but it never did. Or it, well, it did. It, it did a spruce goose jump and then flew right into a. Uh, Some stuff 
and it got crushed. Oh, and here's the... Oh, there's some Velcro there. Oh, I like that. And I supply the Velcro. I don't have to take it out myself. But I think I'll have to... Yeah. That... That Magneto... Magnet there. Magneto, that magnet there isn't enough. So I'll have to put a stronger magnet there. That's no problem. Everything is pre... Well, whether the... Ah, okay, that's where I put the servo for the... for the... for the rudder. Right, as you can see. So, more detailed shot. And let's open out of all the stuff here. Feel free to fast forward. Okay, so this is the triggers. One, two. They're nice, and let's throw the garbage on the floor, pick it up later. I can give the kids a little bit of money or some candy and they pick it up for me. <laughs> now this is one thing I wondered if these were on the airplane, but they weren't. And this is the Moto Gondola. And um, there is, this is something I've wondered about too, and there is actually holes to put your cables through. And uh, let's see if my engine did fit. I will give, give you the links to all the stuff later. But this is somewhat interesting to see if the... Oh, I can have the cables outside. This engine will fit. Actually, we'll have to build something in there. Because this engine is... Well... Hmm. Well, it fits. But I have to build something. To... Put it in there. I would like to have it this far in, but then I would have to. I would like to have it this far in, uh, uh, but then I'll have to. Well, let's see about that. That will be another video. But as you can see, there are holes there to put your cables through, and there are holes here to put your cables through, and there are some vent here. So that's good. That's good. Uh, like that. You want, don't want your engine to to uh, overheat. Okay, so this is the oh, this is the wing. This is the winglets. Uh, two of those. I hope. Yeah. Two winglets. Two winglets. Lots of crap, lots of leftovers. I think I was pretty lucky with that hole there. It didn't damage anything. Oh. This is the hmm, second gondola. And some more. Crap here, away we go. From the stabilizer. Oh, it's a huge stabilizer. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can and ramble on. Now, oh, here's some protection and it's some beefy stuff. 
And here's the where you put the rudder. Of course, you if you're going to start the thing on the ground, you don't you can't put the rudder there. But I'm only going to fly this at, as a seaplane, and this I won't don't I won't need to take it off. So where's a pile of pile of airplane? Let's do the wings. Now, I still don't know if uh, the, the wings are permanently put on, or if they are, um, or if they're removable. I think I would have to make them removable, or I wouldn't be able to transport the airplane. Let's see. Okay, so the yeah, the aliens got uh, hinges too. One, two, three hinges, and here is all ready for the servos. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the servo cable, but well, no. I we'll have to do something about that. I want that nice and white and not showing, so I think I will put some white tape over here. Uh, but that's me. Also, uh, people have complained about these uh, connections for the wing straps that they break or that the wing straps themselves break, but. I think I will go with the original because I'm not going to do any loops or anything like that. I'm only going to fly the airplane scale. Well, you guys know how that goes. Fly scale for like two flights and then you get bored and then the wings come off. Um, let's see, and these are the two last parts and these are the I don't know what these are called maybe you guys can help me these are the thing the thing is and so now we only have one box left box of goodies let's see what's in the box of goodies we have let's put it oh. Whoa. Huh. spinners red spinners uh oh well, that spinner wasn't good. That's no good. Oh, they're soft. That's that. This one has been squeezed. <coughs> so, I wonder what will happen with the balance. Balancing. Maybe I can force it back in shape. I don't know. Mm, don't like that would like another one maybe I'll talk about talk about that with the hobby king uh, see what they say oh this one is squeezed too hmm boring well that's life super glue oh. <laughs> super glue for Plastic, metal, bonding, and sealing. Well, glue. That's, that's just as about all these props won't be balanced at all. Well, these props. This is cheap stuff. I can tell you that. I think I will put on some other props on this airplane because these props are... These are not. Right, right. Yes, so, well, 
the plane is intended for for counter out er, counter rotating props so we get a couple of counter rotating props and we see how the balance is on these props but i think i think uh i'll go with some other props they are eight times 3.8 props 8 times 3.8 props if you if you're wondering and you get some this thing i don't know what this thing is for but perhaps it's for the wing i think maybe it's for the wing uh some wood wooden plates some other wooden stuff don't know what to do with that but hey this time we got a manual so I think I will figure it out I think that's the reason why my father's camera didn't work either uh, or didn't work either but didn't work because uh, he didn't have a counter right uh, counter rotating motors uh, so the torque was was a bit much raw. Well, here's the rudder and some hinges and screws and stuff. Get some cables for the servos. And of course the usual stuff for the props. So um so far I'm actually quite happy. I'm glad that the airplane didn't uh get uh damaged. Uh, because of the hold and the package I'm not so happy about this these are this doesn't I have to measure the diameter of this and order some new ones or talk to Hobby King and because I can't do anything about this this is this is the way it is and the balance will be no good no good at all so Use large. Hope you can see that. Wing. This is the part. This is the underside that I don't show you with all the this from the molding. Um, there is. Uh, uh, they made a. Ah, oh, I forgot it now. They made the. The thing is that make the wing go not break. Okay, so and of course the uh, that's nice. I like that. You don't have to do any figuring out on how to get the angle right. It fits, it fits in there like a puzzle. You just put it in there. That's nice. Oh, okay. Now I know. Some viewers out there talking to themselves, telling me I'm an idiot, and I am because, of course, these are the struts for the for the outriggers. No, one mystery less. Wing number two. Stabilizer. Stabilizer. It's really nice in there. <laughs> I get it. And it's light. The whole thing is very light. So, I think that's it. There's nothing else to add. Except I will build the thing. And uh, then I will show you the, build air, the built airplane. And... If we're lucky, I'm even going to get to fly it. Thanks. Bye.